I have tried out Windows 11 on the Meta Quest to see whether or not it beats Virtual Desktop, which is another desktop streaming app. In this video, I'll answer whether this one is better, what kind of features and benefit it brings, and there's one specific feature that really stands out. If the screen clarity and performance is optimal enough for productivity and even for gaming. And if you keep watching, I'll show you at the end how to completely set this up for yourself. I'm in my headset right now and it's really fast to launch. All I do is click here and there's pretty much no distraction going on. You can still see your Quest Universal menu for easy hopping. I can also disable pass through and get into the virtual environment. If you want to change your environment, I can quickly do that too. But there's a specific feature that totally caught me off guard and really brings in a new layer of dimension. So in terms of usability, it's pretty much like your ordinary desktop monitor. I use my keyboard and mouse now, so you can see me moving my mouse and entering text through my keyboard. I, however, cannot directly point my touch controller at the screen and use my mouse that way. It only works with your mouse and keyboard. You can also resize the screen like this or position it like this. And now here's the cool thing. If you go to the settings cog icon and click add display, you can add another virtual monitor. And if I want another one, I can click it again. It adds this monitor to my left. Now you got this beautiful three monitor setup. And to check if everything is lined up in your windows, go to the settings system and then display click identify and check if the monitors are lined up correctly now here's the feature that i wanted to show you we have to go back into the virtual environment for this and they have added a full pass-through mode for your keyboard it intelligently detects any keyboard doesn't matter which one as long as it looks like a keyboard then it creates this pass-through when you hover your hand over it whenever you want to type yeah, isn't that just awesome? Look at this. Just look at how my hand seamlessly transitions from the avatar hand to my real hand. <laughs> that is so cool. So we cannot stand the lower refresh rates these days. So let's see if everything is as fluent as your physical monitors. In Windows, go to your settings and then go to display. And under advanced display, you can check the current refresh rate setting of your monitor. It is currently set to 90 Hz on every monitor, of course with a good reason because my Quest 3 refresh rate is also 90 Hz. And I did not notice any blurriness or odd artifacts when moving my mouse or items on the screen. But the refresh rate doesn't mean anything if the actual visual fidelity sucks, right? The resolution quality is set to 9020 by 1080 for every monitor and I am unable to change this to another value. My physical monitors are all 2K resolution, but I presume the Mixed Reality Link application does this to avoid hiccups by preserving some bitrate. Everything is very readable and clear. I have no complaints of eye strain or focusing. And since you can freely move the virtual screens, this should be no problem. The clarity is comparable to how your native Quest screen is, meaning it is the same sharpness as the universal menu in your Quest. Even if it's buttery smooth and sharp, if your mouse and keyboard respond half a year later to your inputs, it's still unusable. The latency is pretty much instant. However, I did notice some hiccups with moving my mouse with tiny bits of lag every so often, as if it needs to load something on the background. Now let's put everything to a demanding test with two games that I tried to play. The first one is Avatar Frontiers of Pandora, which is a graphically beautiful but demanding game. The menu interaction was smooth, but when I entered the game, it, uh, it started lagging like crazy. The FPS seemed good, but the lag made it unplayable. The same goes actually for a less demanding game called Valheim. It had lots of lag, so I pretty much gave up instantly. Especially after dying such a wordless death 10 seconds into the game. But do I really find the integration by Meta for Windows 11 better than Virtual Desktop, which is my go-to Windows streaming application? So I'm not going into too many details because I've covered that in another video, which I'll show you at the end. However, launching into Virtual Desktop, greeted with my two physical monitors now represented as virtual ones, I can add my third monitor like this. 
It has more options you can fiddle around with, like the curvature and many other features. I can also move the uh, positions of these screens. The menu also has tons of options to really optimize your performance and graphics. Virtual Desktop also has tons of virtual environments, some of which I just absolutely adore, like the gaming desk setup, or check out this first class airplane view with actual movement out the window. You can even see the wing with the lights. That is, that is so cool. One thing that was however a bummer is there's no portal to view your keyboard while in a virtual environment. So I really hope they'll add that quickly. It does have hand tracking and it works great. You can even manipulate items on your desktop with the uh, touch controllers or even with hand tracking. But the absolute difference in performance was when I tested the same two games from before. They were just working absolutely fantastic. I didn't feel any lag, hiccups, flickering or just whatever. Perhaps it has to do with my custom settings which Mixed Reality Link from Meta now kind of lacks but I can say for sure it just did the job. Oh and below is a link for getting virtual desktop with 10% off while you support the channel. For the rest, latency, smoothness and resolution was all similar to Meta's Mixed Reality Link. If I have to decide where my phone goes to, I'd say it still goes to Virtual Desktop. Not only because it did better while playing games, it just has more customizability to fit my specific needs. Now pair that together with the awesome environments and this app is still on my number one list for streaming your desktop in VR. For productivity purposes, I'd say both apps work great, so it's really up to your needs. And I also must mention that the Mixed Reality Link app is free to use. Now, if you have made your choice, let's head over how to set Mixed Reality Link up on your MetaQuest device. Now go to the link I provided in the description below. Click on the link to go to the Microsoft Store. Install the Mixed Reality Link application on your desktop. Open the application and you'll see a big QR code. Now we head over into our headset and in the MetaQuest store, search for Windows app and install this. Now let's start it up. Click on get started. We will connect to a nearby PC. Now it will prompt us to download the remote desktop application, so do that. And after you hit start, it will open up the menu with your available computer. Now let's click on our computer. And then you have to click on upgrade. And just like that, we have to scan the QR code that we got earlier. Just getting rid of the uh, send diagnostic data pop up. And now if you hit connect on your computer, it will launch into the application. It's possible that your screen start flickering, but this is normal because it has to make a connection with your PC. And for future instances, when you want to see the remote desktop on your universal menu, then you go to your settings, experimental, and there you see a toggle for paired to PC with Microsoft Mixed Reality Link. If you'd like to learn more about virtual desktop with all the bells and whistles, I have a more in-depth video which you can watch right over here. And I'll see you there.